Um, I'm a director here at Lean McKitchen. And designer as well. I have won the award for KBSA Kitchen Designer um, 25,000 to 50,000 this year. The brief was to bring it um, up to spec. So previously we'd worked um, with our client on other projects, so um, utility beat room. Um, so we'd already got a feel of their style and um, taste level at that point. And they really wanted to then bring it into the kitchen and make the space much more functional and just a room that they could use a lot more. Um, previously being an old village building it was very drafty underutilized and a lot of uneven walls and nooks and crannies so we needed to kind of work with that and, and make the best use of that possible my approach to this was to just look at it as a whole and completely empty walking into there it was very under underutilized they had beautiful views that they had nowhere to kind of look at them so my first approach was to move the sink under the window, which is something that I've spent the last 17 years avoiding. In this circumstance, I felt like it was really the right thing to do. And with that being in what was an existing bay at the time, we needed to remove the seating, relocate all of the plumbing. The wall behind was um, questionable. Um, so rebooting all of that was, was the kind of key point, making sure that that was viable. Um, so the, the design therefore would be, and then creating a workflow that would mean that Martin, who was the main kind of cook of the house, could carry on and do that without his wife and daughter being in the way, kind of with getting drinks and snacks and being able to have them in the kitchen. So and create a seating area where he would feel involved in the homework that was happening and general kind of conversations and stuff, hence moving the main the main hob onto the island. The greatest challenges um, were in the, the wall, so just making sure that it had structural integrity, being able to make sure the floor um, was reinforced so it could take the weight of the units and the, the stone work surfaces that we were introducing. That Getting that core basis of the project safe and sound was very important to build up from. And then in terms of design, just working with the, the shape of the rooms, the bays, the little archways um, in the corners of the room, the uneven argos, so just small details like having tiles that you can cut and shape to the wall and just follow those natural curves and really be sympathetic to the room as a whole, to the property that age. You never know what you're going to uncover and what is going to add on to that. And we are very thorough in our installation. So there were definitely areas where we had to leave um, some contingency for surprises. I really love the um, finishing touches that the client has put in there um, and being able to see some of the slightly different approaches that we wanted to implement working for them. So on the shelf units, lighting both down and up, um, some of the colours, the complementing worktops, um, so you've got that real focal point in the um, island, the detailed worktop, but everything being much more subtle on the outside. Um, and yeah, just all of the, the decorative items. I think that's always what, what gets me when I walk back into a client's home, their own touches and personality sh shining through. And that we've managed to meet um, briefs in terms of providing enough storage and in the right areas as well. I would say I have a signature style, but this is completely out of um, my comfort zone. We do a lot more handleless kitchens and islands and banks of units whereas moving further out to the villages you get to be for us more creative and and challenged and given something new to think about so it was really nice and exciting to be able to work on it and and kind of throw all of our, our ideas and and the things we want to do out there um, and having a client who trusted us enough to go with that as well I spend a lot of time just kind of following lots of different people and um, I have a habit of following things that aren't in my own comfort zone and within my own tastes, because I like to be challenged and I like to be able to create things that are right for my clients rather than just for me. And um, just, just generally traveling, picking up on new trends. Um, and the other designer here is fantastic. And we're, we're very opposing in our style. So it's nice to kind of have that challenge and see things work that you perhaps wouldn't go with, which obviously always expands your own viewpoint. And um, I think that, you need to be able to listen carefully and listen and be able to identify 
what's not being said as well as what's being said. Your clients are people who know the problems with their existing kitchen. They can see on uh, the likes of Instagram what they like, but they don't necessarily understand the implications, how to get there and what else might be more appropriate out there. So being able to really understand them, their family um, and what they want from it and knowing your product and um, for us having the flexibility of going out and, and sourcing the products that we want from, from where we want is very useful and just kind of staying in touch with, with the market and, and what's available and implementing it for each client's need. I mean, if, if you're just going to sit there and do a design exactly what a client said, what's the difference between going to us and someone else or even like national companies as well you need to be able to really get into it i quite like the fact that we're now seeing a bit of a shift into more block color um rather than multi multi-tone and the shift towards the uh things being moodier um and having more depth in the colors and so moving away from from the lighter spaces and into the darker spaces adding more textures and the fact that it's continuing to to grow beyond just a kitchen so it's still the family space it's moving in to, to kind of home entertainment systems and and just on from there so it, it's just nice to see how that's that's expanding